A touching story on the Ebola offense, but in Liberia, over 1,400 survivors are facing similar stigma. Health workers call them heroes for surviving the deadly Ebola virus, but their family members, they're still contagious. You can survive a disease with close to 90% uh, case fatality uh, shows that you are actually a hero. But not everyone sees them as such. The network of Ebola survivors celebrates life this way and to educate the public. The Liberian government says it is highly concerned about the situation. Their well-being is part of the overall resilient health system plan that is being developed. So the government is highly, highly concerned about these people. And not the government alone but also working with our international partners to uh, see them as first-class citizens. Survivors are not the only ones struggling. Health workers in the three affected countries who treated Ebola patients are facing the same problem. Once I am a doctor, especially so in epicenter, that is a center where the disease you understand, is, understand? People will see you, they are even afraid to come near you. They will say you are infected, you are also infectious. So they don't want to even touch you. They don't even, this is stigmatization. In fact, if you wear short sleeve, nobody will allow you to take the vehicle. Because they will say you will touch them by all means. Even when somebody is giving you something, the person is withdrawing the hand. So by the time you are away, whatever he's giving you is dropped down. The World Health Organization acknowledged the problem and would need the concerted effort of all to solve it. It's the fear that communities have, that family members have, that somebody who has been in the ETU who has come back is still infectious. That is really uh, the reason for this stigma and we are doing everything possible with our partners to address this. Uh, we are investing a lot in mental health, psychosocial support. This is part of the the, the areas in which this stigma can be addressed. Nakwa Kwabla, TV3, Monrovia. And still staying in Liberia, some relieving news. The Nakwa Kwabla reports that some treatment centers being shut down in Liberia, even though the last Ebola patient was discharged only two weeks ago. Boots hang for days without being used. Empty dressing room. A rare sight in November when the Ministry of Defense Ebola Treatment Center was set up. But with a drastic reduction in Ebola cases, Liberia's Health Ministry is decommissioning some treatment units, including this center, but keeping those located in the EPIC centers. From November 1 up to now, we've had over 200 admissions, but only 54 of them were confirmed Ebola uh, patients. And then 22 were discharged cured and then the rest of them died. A family physician specialist, Dr. Kweju Osaipuku, and his team of 28 Ghanaian health workers were part of the African Union support to Ebola outbreak in West Africa, Asiwa. They were deployed to this treatment center and other facilities in Monrovia. You never enter the ETU alone. There's always a team that enters, so that if you have an aggressive patient, you can quickly restrain and give whatever intervention you want to give. Now, aside that, it's fear. And you have to overcome that fear. You have to fear first and foremost and overcome that fear in order that you can actually go into the red zone. The unusual quiet atmosphere at most of the treatment centers was seen by many as a true sign that victory was near. However, the new Ebola case over the weekend has undermined Liberia's hope to be declared Ebola free. Every new case can create a problem, a huge problem, it's a problem like we've been facing over the last half year, unless it is addressed properly. Now, at the moment we have the system in place. The government is clear, the government is showing leadership, there's many partners on the ground, so we, we, we do proper contact tracing, we, do, we follow up with, 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 with the patients, we are able to isolate the patients and treat them, because we have the treatment facilities available, we can quickly do the tests because we have laboratory capacity available. So all the things that we were lacking 
in August, September. All of that is available right now. The WHO says this is a delicate phase of the outbreak. At this phase of the outbreak, what will be absolutely key is in ensuring that all communities own and are fully, fully engaged in ensuring that the safe practices that have brought Ebola down to the low level at which it is now are sustained, maintained, intensified until there's no single case of Ebola around again. Liberia discharged the last Ebola patient two weeks ago and began counting down 42 days to be declared Ebola free. That would have been in April, if not for the new case in the capital. Now, Kwabla, TV3, Monrovia.